Friday Night Crunching, you know it. The mods centered around old style rage faces and their wacky antics within the mematic world. What do we really know about it? Here's 10 things about Friday Night Crunching. And hey, if you like these type of videos and want to see more, be sure to hit that sub button to be the first to see them as they come out. Alright, let's get into it. Friday Night Crunchin' is a mod based mainly on the personifications of popular reaction images, often used in Rage comics and message boards. The mainline character, Serial Guy, originated in 2007 in a short comic by Bob Averill on the Something Awful forums. The character later dubbed Serial Guy would see many iterations, including the more updated, higher quality appearance he's most known for today. The format of the meme usually follows Serial Guy, stating that something will never happen, and then when that thing happens, he spits out his cereal in response. But that wasn't always the format. As previously stated, Bob Averill's original comic was created in 2007, potentially marking it as one of the earliest reaction images to be integrated into the Rage comic genre. Serial Guy's appearance in the first week of Friday Night Crunchin' upholds his modernized look, only the table now has one of those skinny microphones for him to sing into. The main menu is a first-person perspective shot from the view of Serial Guy reading a newspaper, presumably presumably in the same location where week one of the mod takes place. The name of the week, He Will Never Be Funkin', is of course a reference to the meme format Serial Guy is most known for. The week begins with a short comic of boyfriend challenging Serial Guy to a rap battle in his own home. Players are noticed the main weeks are entirely outlines with minimal shading in the style of Rage comics to keep with this theme, but that isn't the case later on in the mod. Hanging on the wall, previously unseen in the first person perspective shot, is a picture of both Trollface and Forever Alone, holding a rifle and wearing helmets, establishing them as buddies of Serial Guy. According to director Gross Alicious, Trollface and Forever Alone went to war, but Serial Guy did not. During the final song, Serial Guy is laughing so hard at Boyfriend that he frequently chokes on his cereal, and ultimately dies of asphyxiation. Eat your heart out, Garcello. Boyfriend's design is a bit different from our usual cyan-haired pal, taking on more of an exaggerated appearance of a Rage Comics character. Known as Roach Boyfriend, this noisy menace would challenge anyone to a rap battle, regardless of if they're mourning their recently dead friend. During the first week, Serial Guy discovered that Roach Boyfriend is scared of spoons, and thus making him an idiot, a fact so hilarious that it caused him to choke on his cereal and die. The troll face is one of the most well-known reaction images on the internet, so it only makes sense that they would appear as a character in a mod about Rage comic characters. The name of the week, One Step at a Time, refers to the troll science comics that are formatted in a step-by-step -step basis. Trollface discovers the lifeless body of his old pal Serial Guy two days prior to this week, and in a depressed state, agrees to rap battle with Roach Boyfriend. During the first two tracks, Trollface is sitting in an alleyway holding an umbrella and a can of oil, likely contemplating covering themselves in oil when the scene begins to rain. This is a reference to the Cover Yourself in Oil comic, proposing that because oil floats on water, then covering yourself in it will let you fly through the rain. As opposed to covering themselves in oil to fly, Trollface combines a magnet and an umbrella, which is a much safer alternative. As opposed to the troll faces in the blue balls incident, troll face overcomes his pain and uses the opportunity to reconnect with the people around him. In a sort of hopeful final song in the second week, Trollface and Forever Alone reunite at the gravesite of Serial Guy. Losing during the stage causes Trollface to be overcome by their loss and turn into a trollge. For some reason, the to be continued message at the end of this week is accompanied by a small jingle of Caramel Dancing, and is also joined by a silhouette of an upcoming character. Now that we've gotten the main weeks out of the way, let's discuss the bonus songs found in Freeplay. The first Freeplay song is Legacy, which pits Boyfriend against Trolljack, a combination of Trollface and uh, Wojack. The scenery in the background is composed of the iFunny watermark, an image sharing site known for its lax regulation of its content. This place is known as iFunny Hell, and Trolljack is a prisoner in this space. The small bobbing smiley face in the background of Legacy is known as Ifu, the warden of iFunny Hell. She is a representation of the website's logo, but with a more body horror approach. Partway through Legacy, she reveals her true form as a massive 450 foot orange glowing smiley face with sunken eyes and two large rows of teeth. Despite her menacing appearance, Ifu is not actually a villain, and acts as more of a therapist to those imprisoned in iFunny Hell. Her animations seem to reference various other smiley faces as well as her idol still appearing like the original iFunny logo. The newly unlocked free play song Threat features Boyfriend facing off against Poop Madness. Just like Ifu, Poop Madness is a godlike entity in iFunny Hell, even more powerful than she is. The character Poop Madness is based on an iFunny user of the same name, and their unique voice is generated using Fruity Loop Studios' voice synthesizer. Despite being leagues more powerful than Ifu, he simply wants to goof around and build his shacks, like the broken plywood one the song takes place in. Ifu is unaware of PM's intentions, so she watches him cautiously. The static that appears partway through the song and the sound that plays is a reference to the game Slender. PM mostly speaks in gibberish, but does take the opportunity to remind us that he is indeed Poop Madness. 
The next song, Rumor, is based on a pair of computer viruses, one real and one supernatural. These viruses are You Are an Idiot and I Am God. First appearing in 2002, You Are an Idiot slash Office is a malware virus designed to tax the user's computer, baiting them into switching it off. The first version of this virus wasn't designed to corrupt or delete files on the system, but simply scare the user into thinking they had, as the You Are an Idiot virus needed to be sought out in order to get. The iconic black and white image of the smiley face seen on the computer during Rumor is the personification of this virus known as Edie. Just when the song seems to be over, a significant amount of time is added to the song timer and Boyfriend is suddenly stabbed in the head with a plug, revealing the second opponent of this song. The I Am God virus is a story of a virus posted on 4chan's paranormal board as a sort of ARG. The original poster, known as PC, posted an image claiming it was part of a virus his friend had downloaded. The user began replying to the post with different pieces of a complete image, which was slowly revealed to be a face. In the top left of the original image, a small distortion of darkness is revealed to be a QR code-like design that was translated into binary, then translated into the English word God. Boyfriend's appearance on the screen during the first part of I Am God's segment is parallel to the face seen in the images, and the character appears in order of the images posted. It is important to note that Edie and I Am God are not working together, but simply I Am God has taken control of them. In the most recent update, a Halloween-themed track has been added to Crunchin'. Rattled features the familiar Ifu facing off against a horde of disgruntled skeletons. We know that Ifu could transform due to her debut as an opponent in Legacy, but this is the first appearance of her in a humanoid Form. Her accompanying purple witch costume feeds into the theme of Halloween. The horde of skeletons seems to be invading I Funny Hell during Halloween, and Ifu and Poop Madness are there to stop them. The trumpet playing skeleton is based on the Skull Trumpeter and Doot Doot meme, which simply features a gif of a skeleton with a trumpet and an accompanying... <laughs> A future version 3 of Friday Night Crunchin' has a deadline set according to director Grossalicious, who has also given us a taste of what's to come. The previously mentioned shaded figure at the end of week 2 is actually Epic Face, as seen in a teaser by musician Neutroa of a song called Smile. This is likely a taste of the third week of the mod. Additionally, a character representative of the Illuminati has also been teased, as well as seen at the end of Churgny Gurgny's 420 subscriber special. The being in this video states, we have to keep waiting. You must journey through purgatory before entering our gates. If I funny as hell, the stage rumor takes place on is purgatory, then it only makes sense that the Illuminati stage would be taking place in heaven. And finally, Grossalicious posted a scrapped concept of a Nyan Cat character called Mortar Cat, whose mechanic would have shot the screen and covered it in rainbow colored smoke. Though it's accepted that this character character probably isn't coming to Crunchin, Gross did note that the character design was more popular than expected. And that's 10 things about Friday Night Crunchin I hope you enjoyed. Happy belated one year anniversary to the team, and I look forward to seeing what's next. Thanks for watching, and until next time.